Hey Vikes, I'm Bethany and you're watching SBTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SBTV. Now on to your daily announcements. If you want to be a member of the Writing Center, you must fill out this online application by May 1st. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Sands. Due to school being closed, gatherings on school property are not welcomed. Let's see if this warm weather will continue right after this quick commercial break. You're here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV live streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Good afternoon Vikings. As you can see behind me, it's quite a foggy morning, but this fog will be leaving by this afternoon, starting us out with a very sunny and humid day. We are expecting a warm weekend though, but we do have a slight chance of rain. As you can see, tomorrow we are expecting a 70% chance of rain, and then Saturday we are going to see clear skies for the most part. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, we are going to remain in the 70s for quite a while, and we are seeing a little bit of precipitation in the area for Sunday. I'd be on the lookout for that. We are expecting to reach up into the 80s by next week. Now back to your anchor. Thanks, Zoe. Let's see what teacher will be leaving. Mr. Elliott will be leaving Seaman High School after the remainder of this online schooling semester and will be going to adjust the high school to become the new defensive coordinator and become the new teacher there. So I want to talk to him about why he's leaving and a few other questions. Um, I mean, it wasn't in the plans at all. I was fully intending on coming back kind of right around where we got out of school for spring break. I had someone contact me about a job opportunity um, in Augusta, Kansas. It was a position that was kind of intriguing at the time, and after I did the interview, the culture of the school kind of resembles semen a little bit. There's a little bit of a commotion in the coaching realm, um, kind mm -hmm. of be uh, being the defense coordinator position there at Augusta, and I knew at some point I was going to leave the peak. I just kind of didn't know when. And yeah. with this job opportunity, I just felt like now's a good time to jump at this, but I'm still young and more apt to move. But, I mean, mm -hmm. it was definitely not something that I was thinking about. I thought I was going to be back at SEMA next year, the next couple of years at that, but it was tough to leave. All right, so I think you just mentioned it, but where are you going, just to clarify? It's in Augusta. Augusta, Kansas, east of Wichita, kind of right east of Andover. Okay, and then um, what's your favorite memory at Seaman High School? Oh, that's, I mean, that's a loaded question. I mean, there was each day there was some sort of memory that I remember. I mean, from my first year, one of the students' favorite, favorite memory of me is uh, me ripping my pants in front of the entire <laughs> class. Um, the constant practical jokes playing on Schaefer, um, but I mean, every day there was something, pieing Coach Lincoln in the face during um, a fundraiser, 
but my, I mean, my favorite memories are just coming in every day and getting to know the students and kind of interacting with them. And, I mean, I don't, I don't think I ever really have a bad memory at Seaman, and that's what makes the place so great. Okay, um, what did you accomplish as a football coach and a teacher? Um, I mean, awards. I mean, I, I guess the only award I got was uh, assistant coach of the year this following year uh, or this last year. But, I mean, as a teacher, I don't know what I achieved, but, I mean, my whole goal from day one when I got into teaching is, you know, I'm not – I don't care if students can tell me a historical date in three years or four years or even the next week. My whole goal is if I have 100 students during that year, is hopefully I can let all of them know that I, mean, I, I truly care for them and make it as exciting as, the, as I can during the time that they're with me. So I mean, like when a student walks in, they hate history. When they walk out, I at least want them to you know, be interested in learning. Um, and I think I've done that for – a majority of students that I've had, they know that I care. They know that, you know, I try to get to know them before I try to teach them something. So, I mean, I haven't necessarily achieved anything, you know, award-wise, but, I mean, I try to achieve something each year with getting to know as many kids as I can and make lifelong relationships. Yeah. Um, do you have anything to say to your students currently and, like, students you've already had? Yeah, I mean, this was a tough decision because I can't tell everybody face-to-face, and uh, that's probably been the hardest thing on me. It was a decision that it took me a full 48 hours to really come to because, I mean, I was so scared of leaving without being able to talk to anybody, um, seeing people, and, you know, saying goodbye, kind of telling them again face-to-face. But, I, you know, even when I leave, if, you get, if anybody still wants to contact me, my line of communications are always open. It's not, I do not just want to leave Seaman behind and not think about it anymore. This is a place that I started my teaching career, kind of started my professional career. It's going to hold a special place in my heart. And, uh, I mean, if, if I had you as a student or if I coached you, I mean, you're part of my life. And, you know, I'm never going to forget anybody that was in my classroom or that played for me or, you know, that I met in the hallway. So, I mean, sad to go but I mean I'm excited for a new chapter but I just want to make sure everyone knows that this was tough and uh, please you know reach out if you ever need anything you just want to touch base you know I'll be around so all right thank you if you have the time please take the time to email or any way of communicating with Mr. A and tell him thank you for being a teacher at Stephen High and wish him good luck in the next chapter of his life at Benedicta. You will be missed. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>